Hey guys, I'm Archer Master here. Today, I'm gonna play ladder with AQ Expo. The this AQ is 13 level so. I wasn't sure if that would work, so I gave it a try. And I'm going to show you a replay of that. I don't use AQ much, so I don't know how to use it much. Gonna Expo to the opposite side at the moment the opponent hits lightning against AQ. If it's one next time, they can't get RG in time. This is gonna be protected at low cost. If you put out a knight, he'll be received by the unit and counter. Yeah, something like that. Also, the way it fights against this deck, a defensive expo might not be a good idea. Lightning will destroy it quickly, the damage to the tower is huge, and the cycle of rotation is not much different from expo decks, so you can expo a second time around, but RG or lightning will be there in time. So seriously it doesn't work. If you defend with a Q when your opponent comes out of the back with a unit, you can counter with something to defend with and use cloak. I could have taken this out to the knight, but it was risky, so I'm going to use cloak here. Not so good because I attacked for no reason. Tesla is one square below the middle position. RG can take for shots at Tesla and surprisingly can protect it without additional units, so you shouldn't take it out right away and see if it can protect it on its own before you act. AQ out and defend against AQ. When you're on your own fields, it's easier to defend your AQ with your units and you can counter. One shot into the tower, but AQ is left with zero damage. I'm gonna put Tesla down for now. Oh, people often put Tesla high up, but it's not very good. It will be destroyed easily by RG or Dark Prince. You can match AQ to AQ like this. The fireball and logs. Now the damage advantage is less. Skeleton here. And gonna put down Knight. He has been hitting lightning but it's on the left side. I hope that's okay. Tesla down here. Bridge front take you to earn damage. That's pretty good. And Tesla in the middle. Put AQ on the opposite side to put pressure on them. And if he had RG to that, it doesn't look like I can protect it. AQ here. The opponent's AQ and next bow overlap. Fire Boland. E Spirit and Log to kill AQ. I'll got 20 seconds left. And all I need to do is hit to more fireball, and I'll win. Okay, let's gonna be fireball. Tesla, in this case, puts it higher. And fireball to the opponent's tower. 
Yeah, that was good game. By the way, it is the top 200. I still think AQ is strong enough to work. So I know some people think I can't use it because I don't have the level, but it's totally usable. I don't think this has anything to do with me being good or bad. I mean, I was sleepy all day yesterday and had a blast. And guess how many hours I slept? I slept for 17 hours. So, of course, I haven't been able to go to class and I haven't turned in my assignment that is due today, which really sucks. So from now on, I need to get a good rhythm in my life. Well, sort of. This deck looks like a good matchup, but it's actually pretty bad. Poison and Valkyrize will easily protect Expo when you attack. But in a Q's case, it could be reversed. We can kill Valkyrize and hard units with AQ. This Fire Spirit could have put out some units to protect it, but I was afraid of breaking the cycle, so I didn't put out any. Anyway, Expo here. Against Valkyrize, we immediately AQ out and take them down. It's really too strong. It's this power at the 13 level. If it had been at the 14 level, it would have been more in the tower. But this is still too much. But this one is a good opponent. It's easy to be protected by a knight, so use Tesla to make sure it's protected. Relatively speaking, it's not a problem at all. From the opponent's point of view, this damage advantage would be fatal. That's because the only means of attack are minor, mortar and spells. Those are easy to protect and not expected to do much damage. A Q and Fireball here. Yeah, this is gonna expo. E spirit to take a mortar target. I know it's not a good play, but if I defend this and do a second round of expo. Let's gonna go expo. Miner will be kept at a minimum of damage with logs. Expo again. I wanted to target Miner with a Q because he would always put it out behind it. I'm gonna keep on the offensive. This time, I succeeded. Perfect, I got 200 damage. Pulled off with a log. All that's left is to calmly turn the fireball twice. Against Miner. If you protect it with AQ or something, it won't do much damage. And you can easily kill Valkyries and shields with counters, so it's definitely a good matchup. The last match is Bridge Spam Deck. I could say the same thing about this kind of deck against 3.0 Expo, but attacking it for no reason is a really bad idea. I'm sure there are a lot of Expo players out there 
myself included, who think that since there's nothing to do for now, they should attack, but not against this deck. There's nothing this magic archer can do, so I'm going to ignore it and expo. The opponent has put the bandit on the opposite side, so we attack the opposite side of it. Fireball to AQ. A rolling barbarian can be protected with a well-timed knight with almost no damage to the expo. He lost his mind. I'll try to predict what's on his mind. He thinks I'm brilliant. Definitely. I mean, there's not much difference between the AQ 13 and 14 levels. If I had to say, I'd say it's the fireballs and logs that get you. Other than that, well, the HP and damage are inferior, but the crooks are still too strong. And one thing I would like to dispute about the champion. Right now, the deck is made up of 8 cards, including the champion, right? So when the champion is on the field, it's a 7 card cycle. That seriously felt like a broken game. And it's clearly unfair. So I definitely want that to be addressed or something. Or, I think it would be really good if you could make it like 8 cards and a champion and make the skill place a button where you can put it. What do you guys think about this? I think it's good that there will be new champions in the future and that they will be used. But having a cycle of 7 cards could be a game breaker. Something like that. Thanks for listening to me for so long. Let's get back to the subject. When you attack, you basically defend with Tesla and other units, but there's one thing you need to be careful of. Don't let Magic Archer shoot you with a knight. Seriously, you need to be careful defending this one. Just be aware of it at all times. I attacked the expo thinking it would lock into the tower, but in the end I didn't do a single damage. If anything, I did about 1000 damage. From now on, I will focus on defense. Defense Expo here. He doesn't have huge spell like a fireball and lightning, so Expo works like crazy. I can't defend AQ but it's okay. And Tesla prevents Magic Archer from shooting through with Knight. But he's out of cycle. I have nothing to do, so I'm gonna attack this. Yeah, it's crazy strong even at level 13, so everyone should give it a try. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you definitely should. Goodbye guys.